Welcome to Go for Gold, a football quiz which features Northwest clubs and contains all the excitement and unpredictability of a knockout competition. And let's meet the teams who are aiming for a place in the quarterfinals. We've got Burnley with us and the boss man, the manager, Jimmy Mullen. Captain, John Pender. And their guest supporter today, the former Welsh wing wizard of Turf Moor, Leighton James, and that's the Burnley team. Playing Stockport, so unfortunate at Wembley over the past couple of seasons, maybe they can win go for goal. From County Durham, we've striker Peter Ward, along with midfielder David Frain, and their guest supporter, the king of better buys, Reg Holdsworth, the one and only Ken Morley, and that's the Stockport team. <laughs> The idea of the game is pretty simple, even if some of the questions aren't. There are three questions in a round, followed by a chance to go for goal. The severity of the chance depends on how many questions the team get right in the round. For one out of three, it'll be a bit of a long shot. Two out of three for a half chance. And for three out of three, a richly deserved open goal. Now, even the best strikers can miss an open goal. So let's kick off with round one, club call. How much do the teams know about their own clubs? Burnley first, Jimmy, and you can confer. Which politician opened the Bob Lord stand in 1974 and the cricket field stand a year earlier? Mr. Ted Heath. Edward Heath is correct. Leighton. Burnley have appeared in three FA Cup finals, but which one when they were a second division team? 1947 against Charlton Athletic. Well done indeed. John, who played more than 50 games for his country while a Burnley player? Jimmy McElroy. Absolutely right. For Northern Ireland, that's three out of three. Let's go for goal. Well, a very positive start by Burnley. Here's their chance to score the first goal of today's encounter. A picture obscured by a ball. You've got all three questions right, so we're going to remove three pieces. What's the occasion? Liverpool returning home with the 1992 FA Cup after beating Sunderland in the final. Right, let's see if you're correct. Absolutely right. The giveaway there was David Burrows because he's only appeared in one FA Cup final with Liverpool. That was in 1992. Of course, they recognised Ian Rush, Ronnie Moran and the Cup immediately. Stockport County, your club call questions. Peter first, and you can confer, Peter. Stockport have only ever produced one international player. He won just one cap for England. Who? Harry Hardy. In 1924, a goalkeeper. Very well answered indeed. Ken. What World Championship was staged at Edgeley Park in 1978? Don't forget, you can confer. <laughs> well, this will come as a complete surprise, but we haven't a clue. <laughs> it was, in fact, the World Lacrosse Championships, which returned to Manchester in 1994. Vicious. <laughs> David, Stockport were the first winners of which title in 1921? Third Division North. Absolutely right, that's two out of three, so let's go for goal. So here's the chance for Stockport to equalise. Once again, it's a famous picture obscured by a ball. Two out of three questions right, that means two pieces removed. What's the occasion? <laughs> right. <clears throat> we think it was uh, Watford has lost the FA. Uh, against Everton, um, we think it was a few seasons ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think 1984 was the year you were searching for there, Ken. Let's see if you're right. It's a goal! <laughs> 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 
Yes, that man with uh, an extraordinary name, Elton John, consoling the Watford team after they were beaten by Everton by two goals to nil in the 1984 FA Cup final. Ken was absolutely spot on there. So at the end of the first round, the score, Burnley 1, Stockport County 1. <laughs> Round two, true or false. I'll be reading out three statements to each team, but fact or fiction, that's what they've got to decide. Burnley first, and a real Lulu to start with for you. If you were wearing a Blackburn Rovers football shirt of blue and white halves, the blue half would be on the right-hand side of the front of your body. True or false? True. False. Them, anyway. I thought you knew a lot about Burnley. <laughs> I thought you knew a lot about Blackburn. <laughs> Middlesbrough and Oldham are the only Premier teams from last season never to have played in the FA Cup final. Premier League teams. True. It's false. Norwich haven't either. So, one more to qualify for a goal attempt. One of Britain's most successful teams plays on a former dung heap. <laughs> True. You really waited in there. Yeah. Why? Aberdeen. Absolutely right. Brilliantly answered. Uh, Aberdeen on a former police horse dump. Pitodry, the name of the ground, is the Celtic word for place of manure. One out of three. Let's go for goal. Right, here comes the tough bit. You've got a long shot at goal. We're going to show you a piece of action. You need to uh, identify the three participants. Who played the ball in, who ran in to try and score, and who was the goalkeeper? You need to get all three right. Here we go. Passer was Tony Brown, the runner was Brian Robson, and the goalkeeper was Gary Bailey. Tony Brown, Brian Robson, Gary Bailey. Let's see if you're right. <laughs> 